Welcome friends, this session we will be focusing upon product hierarchy, elements of product hierarchy as we discussed in the last session, wherein I focused upon need as the fundamental most element of product hierarchy. And although it is very simple to understand for us, you know, what is a need basically, but it is the originating point of looking at the satisfaction of a need in terms of products. And that is, you know, the originating point of a large puzzle for marketers. I would not say unsolvable puzzle, but that is a long path which marketers have been taking in terms of categorizing, recategorizing, calibrating, you know, how a customer should be reached with what kind of a product. We refer to few examples of computing and dental care and those kind of things in due course of time and then, uh, you know, uh, by now you would have started thinking about need for example, you know hunger as a need and shelter as a need and so on. But then you would realize that it you know it, it is a starting point of a complex kind of a thinking when we look at it with the perspective of a marketer. Let us look at some other terms and I will be coming back to this uh, you know conceptual perspective in due course of time and, and, and uh, we will be looking at uh, you know product management with strategic perspective in due course of time and so on. But, but let us start making it more interesting and start understanding few specific terms. So, next in product hierarchy comes in product family, a family of Apple products for example, you know. And when you say this is an Apple family, now it is very interesting you know and uh, someone from the marketing side of Apple would say that we have a family of products wherein they have desktops, they have you know laptops, they have uh, you know kind of smartphones, they have musical devices and, and so on. So, it is a huge Apple family, you go to some showroom of Apple and you would realize that you know you are meeting Apple family there. So, so the person would greet you and he would say welcome to the Apple family of products. Now, that is very interesting basically when, when we talk of you know family of products. So, and, and here again I would say that there is there is a categorical reference to uh, you know a definitional perspective in, in many of the books and uh, we have been continu continuously referring to Philip Kotler and Kevin Lane Keller marketing management 15th edition published by Pierce in 2016, uh, India edition published by you know uh, Pearson India Education Services Private Limited 2016. So, but Again, uh, you see, there is again, uh, you know, uh, uh, an evolving perspective around these terms. So, so I would not take you to that evolving perspective discussion, but because that will subsequently be followed when we will be understanding, uh, you know, whole of the scenario. So, product family, wherein all the product classes, and I will come to classes later on, all the product classes that can satisfy a core need need we have talked about with reasonable effectiveness. So, there are several classes within a family. Now, you see at this juncture and I have uh, always been suggestive of fa a fact to my marketing students that in many, many core concepts and terminologies in used in marketing, there is a backdrop of what we would have understood in economics. So, I would not take you there, but, but just you know uh, a reference. Then there is an you know uh, understanding related to language also, the perspective also. So, so those kind of several things constitute a good you know marketing understanding. Now, when we talk of product family it may have a reference to alternatives. 
alternative products which may solve the same kind of a core need. So, those products might not be similar, but they would be solving a particular need. For example, a protein rich diet, for example, a person needs protein. So, the core need here is associated with protein. So, protein rich diet, home cooked meal can solve that purpose. Now, a protein supplement can also solve that purpose. Now, if a marketer has these two options with him basically, he can put up those things in family, but, but it is a slightly complex kind of a thing. So, it, that is why I chose apple example to explain you know kind of a family of products wherein they have you know processes at the backdrop and similar kinds of process based understanding processes associated with the production of the products and so on are being used to you know uh, address the core needs wherein that that family can be projected in front of the customer so there are multiple devices such as laptops or smartphones or computers desktops and, and you know that that can help in satisfying the computational need of the customers and so on and then now onwards I would request you to think in terms of which of the products can be understood with reference to being a family. Remember they should solve a core need and they should belong to different product classes. Now, this is how we will go into understanding product hierarchy. Then comes in product class as I said a group of products within a product family recognized as having a certain functional coherence. Now, that functionality perspective of similarity has to be there. So, these you know they refer to product class and you see here there is a reference of substitution as, as such. So, you have a replacement in terms of substitution when we talk of a product class. See, so we for example, when, when we compute, you know, uh, look into computing devices or computers, we come across various product classes such as personal computers, PCs, you know, it, it is a, a class of computers basically. Then you have servers, then you have several, several classes basically. Here the point is that there has to be a functional coherence basically. So, one can substitute the other in almost you know a equal way kind of that is where the class comes in and these classes would constitute family and family is related to core need and that is how the hierarchy starts coming in our way. So, for example, road, road transport there are several transport options, but again here the marketer the, per, the, the organization which is actually extending that to you must be I should not say must be same, but if you know it, it has to be taken as a same kind of an organization because at the end of the day that can be looked upon with the branding perspective. You see it is slightly confusing when we talk of a fundamental generic term and then we say that there uh, you know the organization has to be same, but, but do not get confused at this particular stage just think in terms of examples which can you know uh, enhance your understanding. As an example of toothpaste, Colgate has several products such as Colgate Total, Colgate Max Fresh, Colgate 360 and so on. You see you can you can go on for, but, but again the point is that here core need family and you know I should not be repeating that time and again, but just to reiterate that in front of you. Now comes in a very interesting term. And this is used very commonly and uh, very emphasizingly actually and it has several linkages and connotations in a uh, whole of the marketing literature, marketing understanding. 
let me introduce to you product line. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is a group of products within the product class and now retrade that what we have talked about up till now. So, within the product class wherein you know those products are closely related because they perform a similar function mark this similar function are sold to the same customer group function is similar customer group is same you have already categorized that customer group basically or, or you may say that the target is similar and are marketed through the same outlets or channels. So, the point here is that and, and one more thing before I go ahead or fall within given price ranges. Now, product line is something where in product price place promotion comes together for similar customer, same customer group whom you want to serve. Now, that is where you know line comes into being. So, so you see that is uh, a very important thing for us to understand and, and it is a part of product class. So, when we talked about product class, we refer to different kinds of toothpaste, they can become substitution in terms of you know for a customer, but then you have marked those products separately towards different kinds of target customers. Colgate for kids is specifically marketed towards kids. Now, if you bring a variation in that toothpaste, that is where a line comes in. You have let us say you know a particular model of a car targeted towards particular kinds of customers. Now, if you have a slight variation in that car, but still you are targeting similar customer group that is where product line is. You have you know surf and surf excel or let us say excel matic. So, you say that the same customer can use excel matic in a washing machine and, and same customer should buy you know a slightly different variant if they want to wash it wash their clothes with their own hands. Now, this kind of a categorization this kind of a variation actually focused upon same customer group having similar functionality is called product line. We will be just talking about how it is associated with production line perspective, but, but till then just remember these fundamental elements and why am I emphasizing upon these terms. You see I have seen many a times marketing scholars, students they you know keep waving in these terms for a very very long time because it has a very strong you know coherence and overlap many a times in you know in context when we refer to these kind of terms. So, we have just uh, talked about detergents, automotives. Now, you can think in terms of scooters. For example, you have a variation in Honda Activa and some other model of Honda scooters basically you know kind of. So, so you know a young girl, uh, a, a woman, uh, a male they go to purchase you know Honda Activa and they suddenly get introduced to a particular kind of a scooter which is uh, parked there and then the salesman says uh, you know kind of it is under similar kind of a price bracket sir, but it has different slightly different features some innovative colors some extra boot space and, and you know this this again is as a newer variant of what has been offered till now. You do not mind because it is not away from your price bracket same outlet is offering you the uh, you know that that particular scooter it has the similar functionality perspective and you are the target customer you see that is what i am uh, you know uh, uh, trying to suggest here when we talk of product line bar soaps you, know, you can talk about the world of soaps for you know long long time but 
uh, if, if you have purchased different kinds of soaps recently, especially by similar uh, same marketer and if those soaps are stacked somewhere in, in your you know uh, cabinet, just go and watch that basically. So, you, you would have purchased you know different variants of a same soap basically under the same price bracket and so on. So, if you are watching your cabinet where you have stacked the soaps and you just look at different variants of a soap you would have purchased for yourself, might be with a slight variation in the fragrance itself that is all. So, so, that can also be you know as far as the line thing goes basically and then this has to be why, why uh, a marketer might be doing that we will be uh, going into specific details extensively throughout this course and then but, but just to give you a glimpse here you know kind of probably you want that variation probably if the marketer goes for same kind of a product probably the customers would look for options all around competition would come in with a variation of your kind of a soap with a different kind of a name and, and uh, you know it is it's, it's not uh, uncommon. So, so you see you have to look at the competition, you have to look at the customer, you have to look at the customer retention, you have to look at the customer multiplication and so on. So, th that is a strategic part which I will keep on reiterating, but I will be focusing on that strategic part in a sequence in a structured manner later on as well. Now, let us go to understand you know uh, two associated terms although specifically different as far as the meaning goes production. So, production is an associated term because product is produced, but, but here because we are referring to line, family, classes production must be understood wherein it refers to the addition of utilities to goods or the rendering of services possessing utility. In marketing it specifically refers to the creation of form utility that is all activities used to change the appearance or composition of a good or service with the intent of making it more attractive to potential and actual user. It is an important thing basically because later on we would be focusing briefly upon a discussion on how things are produced because we would be referring to design thinking element briefly, innovation element briefly and so on you see. For example, you see uh, going back to one of my favorites uh, you know uh, IKEA furnitures they have a coffee table uh, which they have you know which is very lightweight. So, the kind of technology the you know the material which they have used is light still it is wood it is sturdy and very strong and it is heat resistant because you use it for drinking tea and so on and, and uh, there are chances that you know something may fall on that. So, that kind of a thing definitely is associated with as far as the product perspective goes for example, Barbie should not be made with any material which is harmful to our young girls that is that is an important thing you see and and many a times younger girls they you know I, I, I do not know if it is very common, but, but uh, you know uh, young kids they, they uh, you know feel like chewing uh, you know uh, parts of you know their toys as well many a times if it is too young although Barbie is not one of those cases, but I remember when my daughter was you know very young so, so he used to chew few things basically especially when you are you know uh, teeth are uh, emerging Lego toys definitely looks at it. So, so they uh, you know produce the uh, toys with the material which are not harmful to the health of children actually because because any child may uh, go on chewing the product. So, you see that, that is that is an important thing which has to be considered here and further details can be found on uh, the references which we are extending to you continuously and those references would be giving you further clues as well. So, keep watching those websites and uh, the references which we have extended in due course of time and, and uh, thanks to my team which is supporting me uh, here in this effort uh, you know Manvi Goel and Rakesh Nair I should take their name. It was, uh, 
you know they, they have been extensively supported in due course of time. So, now uh, production line for example, now it is again a very important thing we talked about product line wherein we talked about similar function and same customers, same customer group. Production line is a very very important aspect you know it is an arrangement of machines in a factory where the products pass from machine to machine until they are finished. Now, imagine automotives belonging to the same line being produced on production line. So, you see several different production lines cannot be engaged in product in production of one product line might not be you know if, if demand is too high then you have similar production lines, but, but again the point is that logic is associated with justifying the production line with product line and that is where the understanding has to be focused upon. I will be coming back to this concept wherein I would be uh, using you know product line and production line association briefly to explain the strategic perspective associated with marketing wherein when many times you know you have a huge capacity and uh, market demand about a particular kind of uh, for a particular kind of a product in a product line is low. You create a variant on the same production line, so that will justify the production capacity and on the other side would increase a target group for you and that is how you know production line product line. So, it is a uh, you know kind of many a times basically you know it is uh, production line capacity directs marketing uh, exercise many a times marketing feedback directs production line changes and those kind of things. So, there are several kinds of uh, production systems you know flexible production systems and those kind of um, courses uh, are there which, which will uh, tell you about those kind of systems and you would better uh, understand there you know how this production line systems they work actually, but here we are focusing upon the marketing element of production line. Now, product type you see uh, you would feel like you know uh, that starting from need and family and classes and line and uh, coming to types now, but, but again this is the existing demarcation which is used by marketers and why this demarcation has come up this has evolved because you have to understand what you are doing and remember one thing how a marketer is addressing his customers or her customers through categorization through product basically you know through physical product or, or let us say experience or let us say whichever way we have talked about that. So, reaching to the customer is through a product. So, we have to understand you know how to categorize that hierarchy type a group of items within a product line that share one of several possible forms of the product. Now, here you know one specific form of that product is a product type actually. So, many a times and, and uh, this is again a very thin line kind of a demarcation basically and, and uh, many a times it is debated also because, because uh, you know uh, apparently it makes uh, you know kind of a difference in the customer choices, but still there is a similarity of function. For example, same engine is used to manufacture two entirely different models of automotives and that is what I am uh, referring to when I when I say product type uh, for example. So, you see it is it is a it is a categorized you are using the same kind of a production line and, and you are using the same engine type and technology. For example, you are using a same compressor the same power of a refrigerator to develop a specifically different model of an air conditioner for example, or you know a refrigerator for example. So, so that can also be you know and, and many a times you only change a grill largely you know kind of casing is similar or interior is similar, the power is similar, intensity is similar, the grill of the window AC is, is different and, and uh, that is you see because apparently the grill is in front of you always, 
you, you, you forget about you know what kind of a compressor power is there and what kind of a compressor is being used in air conditioners. So, so that is fair you know a type comes into P. Then comes in product item wherein and then again this is slightly technical which is usually used by marketers for their sake, but still it has to be understood because what we are, we are prospective marketers, we are marketing students. So, product item is also called SKU stock keeping unit or a product variant you see wherein one particular product in a product line with a distinct size, appearance, price etcetera. You may call you know model also when, when we talk of uh, kind of or you may think of packs of same food supplement like you know different packs of Bon Vita or, or uh, you may think in terms of different sizes of the same toothpaste you can you can think of that. You may think in terms of two different sizes of a soap bar as well. So, so here for examples you know and, and, and uh, uh, most known examples in today's world wherein you know everyone is associated with smartphones. So, the smartphone product type comprises of various brands out of which for example, iPhone 11 has three SKUs based on internal storage 64, 128 and 256 GB and we all know that they have a different kind of a price bracket also. Customer is same depending upon that how customer wants to purchase that with what kind of a usage element and what kind of a you know price bracket he has in mind for that kind of a particular product. It is not that you know 128 GB customer would not be able to pay for 256 GB actually. And wherein you know uh, for example, you know iPhone 11 64 GB uh, white is one SKU, iPhone 11 64 GB grey is the other one and so on. So, again very specific categorization when you talk of an item actually. And you see in the product type Colgate sensitive prevents and repair you know the prevent and repair you know that is a specific kind of a product. It has three SKUs based on the weight Colgate sensitive prevent and repair 30 grams and 70 grams and 120 grams. Am I sounding like a salesman of Colgate and Apple iPhones? Uh, I do not know beyond this about as far as you know thing goes basically. No, I am a marketing person, but not a salesman of course. So, now comes in you know uh, some other aspects of uh, you know terminologies associated with uh, product, uh, but I will uh, start from uh, product mix discussion in our subsequent session. Uh, just remember that we have been talking of hierarchy all through in due course of time and that hierarchy basically directs our thought process. Uh, of looking at same customer type, similar customer type, different customer type and that is our focus. We are an organization which is an expert on producing something. We have a technological background, we have a capacity capability in terms of human resource and production capability, but we want to serve different types of customers for example. And that is where this hierarchy is very helpful for us to understand that is where you know look around Apple, look around Samsung, they have televisions, they have smartphones, they have laptops, same with Apple and so on. Try to think in terms of Patanjali as well and I will be coming up with a discussion on marketing mix and the subsequent discussions, uh, subsequent discussion on uh, you know other related terminology associated with product uh, till next time goodbye.